In this video, we're about to embark on an epic journey through the latest and most essential Skyrim mods you simply can't miss in mid-November 2023. Before we dive into the immersive details of these game changers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things Skyrim. Now, without further ado, let's get started right away. In this segment, I'd like to introduce about three mods related to gameplay and bug fixes. Firstly, we have Jay Serpa's Simple Fishing Overhaul, Animations and Improved Quest Dialogue. This mod enhances the fishing experience from the Creation Club by adding new animations and quest dialogues. With this mod, you can fish in either third-person or first-person view and even carry your fishing rod around. Moreover, conversations with NPCs during fishing quests become more natural and diverse. For those who don't regularly use the Creation Club or are mod organizer users, a good approach is to place the Creation Club fish mode in the Simple Fishing Overhaul folder to conveniently toggle them together. Next up, we have Loading Screen Truce. This mod temporarily deactivates the combat AI of NPCs during the loading screen to prevent them from attacking the player before the loading is complete. Once the loading screen is fully closed, the combat AI of NPCs is restored to normal, addressing the issue of characters dying immediately after loading. The mod operates similarly to toggling combat AI using the TCAI console command, ensuring that problems with AI freezing do not occur. It's important to note that installation links for SE and AEVR differ, so please pay special attention to the installation process based on the edition you are using. Next up is FSMPM. This mod allows for easy configuration of faster HDT skinned mesh physics through the MCM. It enables the execution of FSMP console commands and facilitates loading predefined presets. Given the significance of FSMP in optimizing SMP, having the convenience of configuring it through MCM is crucial. If you adjust FSMP settings in real time during gameplay and experience frame differences, this tool can be quite helpful. Next, let's delve into the visual aspects. I'll introduce a few mods. Firstly, we have the Archwood Falkreath Tree Overhaul. This mod transforms the trees in the Falkreath region into a jungle-like environment, evoking the imagery of a tropical rainforest with abundant vines and moss-covered trees. It's currently in alpha, so it doesn't support Dindalod yet. However, if you're modding Skyrim with a jungle theme, this mod is definitely worth paying attention to. Just be aware that I experienced around a 10-frame drop on my computer, so consider this when installing it. Next up is Catacomb Leather. This mod provides high-quality texture upgrades for the leather wraps found in Nordic temples and ruins. Supporting both 2K and 4K resolutions, it effectively captures the texture of fur, enhancing the overall realism. Unlike the crude appearance of the original leather wraps, this mod presents textures quite realistically, making it a worthwhile addition for your use. Next, we have three retexture mods by Conge's, starting with the Dreamstride book. Conge's distinctive, high-quality style, along with the flickering light patterns on the book's design, creates a captivating animated effect. And there's also Conge's, the Ethereum Wars book, which transforms the Ethereum Wars book into a high-quality version, complete with animated effects. Additionally, we have the recently released Conge's, the Boethia's Proving Book Animated. This mod astonishingly enhances the cover of the Boethia's Proving Book with high-quality textures and adds an animated effect that brings a radiant glow to the crimson patterns. For those who have previously installed Conj's texture mods, consider trying out these new additions. As they are retexture mods without ESP, you can easily install them anytime during your gameplay. 
In this segment, let's talk about animations. I'd like to introduce you to two different ones. Firstly, there's the Vindictus Delia Animation Remake. It reimagines the X and Y Delia animations, adding weapon effects and hit sounds, along with significant improvements to various other animations. Additionally, dodge and movement animations have been greatly enhanced, creating smoother transitions between attacks. Block actions now produce distinctive sounds, making it a noteworthy improvement compared to the existing movesets. Feel free to check it out. It's definitely worth your interest. Next up is the Draugr MCO Animation Collection. This mod enables Draugr to use the MCO movesets, specifically the Draugr MCO Enabled movesets by creator Oldfire. In other words, it allows Draugr using MCO movesets to utilize the movesets created by Oldfire. Depending on the weapon used by Draugr, you can experience various MCO movesets. Personally, I think the subtle, zombie-like moves suit Draugr better than flashy ones. However, it's a bit regrettable in this aspect. This mod requires Draugr MCO enabled and playable Draugr SSE, along with race compatibility. Despite the multiple requirements, if you're looking to grant MCO movesets to Draugr, it's worth keeping an eye on. In this segment, I'd like to introduce three creature-related mods. Firstly, more ancient Frost Atronox, Mihail Monsters and Animals. This mod allows you to encounter and summon the ancient Frost Atronox, a forgotten presence that appears only once in the Dawnguard DLC in more locations. It provides them with distinct, higher-quality textures and unique combat effects compared to the traditional Frost Atronox. Experience the upgraded quality of Ancient Frost Atronox with this mod. Next up is Giant Leeches. This creature mod introduces massive leeches to swampy areas, ranging in size from smaller than a skeever to larger than a bear. The leeches are added to leveled lists, naturally appearing in swampy regions. Additionally, you can obtain new loot such as leech meat and leech blood. This mod stays true to the lore with well-implemented animations, textures, spells, and behavior. Now, immerse yourself in the terror of encountering various sizes of leeches. Next, we have Veiltail Lobsterfish and Emian Triclops, Mihail Monsters and Animals. This mod introduces two bizarre new marine creatures. The Veiltail Lobsterfish resembles a lobster with its tail spread out like an ornament and comes in two variants, Manic and Demented. The Emian Triclops is a fish with three eyes and poisonous spines, also featuring Manic and Demented variants. These creatures can be found near Neloth's Tower in the sea. Additionally, the mod diversifies the ecosystem of Solstheim by adding three new foods, lobster fish tail, seared lobster fish tail, and emean fugu. Lastly, let me introduce you to an impressive armor mod suitable for all genders, the Yaldabaoth armor. Drawing inspiration from medieval fantasy, this mod adds a new standalone armor set and greatsword to the game. Both the armor and greatsword share the same stats and crafting recipes as the vanilla ebony armor, allowing you to forge them at the ebony section of the smelter. The armor features custom meshes for both male and female characters, with textures available in 4K resolution. You can choose between the Divine version, Render version, and Dark End version to suit your preferences. And there you have it, fellow travelers. The top 14 mods you absolutely can't miss in mid-November 2023. Which one are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Dragonborns. Subscribe for more Skyrim adventures, and until next time, may your Fus Ro Daz be mighty and your modded Skyrim experiences be legendary.